what's up everybody my name is mike brown aka review king mb and this is my 31 days of horror movie reviews and i'm here to talk about a movie that i've always been curious about just for whatever reason never got to watch it until now i'm talking about 1408 1408 is a 2007 film that was directed by mikhail hofstrom and the plot. The plot is we meet John Cusack, who plays this sort of a paranormal investigator, I guess you can call him, where he just doesn't believe. He doesn't believe in ghosts. He doesn't believe in the afterlife. He doesn't believe in paranormal things being real. He always has an explanation. He always feels like he knows what's really going on, even if other people think it's really ghosts. And he's out to prove it. He's out to go to these haunted places, haunted rooms, haunted areas. And this one room in particular, room 1408, at this hotel where he's convinced it's bullshit. He's convinced uh, the the theme of this is, the, the word of what happens is that nobody can survive one full night in this room. Even an hour. Nobody can survive an hour. In this room and so he obviously why not let's put that theory to the test and obviously some freaky and some messed up shit happens and uh, let's just say I would think he's a believer after everything that goes down what I thought of 1408 is I thought the movie was fine I, I I'm not in love with it I'm not over the moon with it I don't think it's the scariest movie I think I was expecting it to be scary, or more scary than what I thought it was. I think for years I would hear people say how scary it was, and how much it screwed them up, and, and how you need to be prepared to watch it. And so for years I just was like, alright, I'll get to it eventually, but I'm, in my head, I guess it's going to be really scary. And maybe if I saw it back in 2007, when I was 17 years old, 18 years old. Maybe I would have thought it was as scary as people say. But for some reason now, I, I, I thought it was creepy, certainly. It definitely had images that creeped me out. It definitely had moments that was like, okay, yeah, that was disturbing. But nothing that had my heart racing. Nothing that made me too anxious or too afraid. Maybe it was just because it's John Cusack stuck in a room where all these ghosts are fucking with him over and over again. And it's, it's in an enclosed space. I don't want to say that's the only reason, because I've seen movies where characters are in one closed space by themselves, and I still get into it. So it's not 100% that. I do think that I wanted a little bit more out of it, or maybe I just was in the mood for a different type of horror film. I am steering away a little bit from ghost, paranormal-like stuff. I mean, obviously there's some really good ones, but it's just, I do feel like that's all I've been watching lately. This, though, I did like John Cusack in the role. I did like him as his character, Mike Elslin, who he, like I said, was cynical at the beginning. Was very much like, oh, whatever, I'm just going to do this. And, and everyone's trying to warn him. Samuel Jackson plays the hotel manager who is so much trying to get him not to go into this room. And it's funny, the dynamic of, of Sam Jackson saying, no, don't do it. John Cusack saying, I'm just going to do it. I don't care. And, and, the, and yeah. here's, here's your white character who, who, who thinks he can handle it, thinks it's no big deal. And you have almost every black character saying, no, dude, don't do it. Sam Jackson doesn't even get on the same floor. This is the hotel manager. And he won't even go on the same floor as this haunted room. There is a another black guy that shows up to fix his room temperature thing he won't even step foot into the room because he's like i ain't fucking with that shit hell no and then he he talks to him and tells him how to fix it and before john cusack can even turn to give him a tip or say thank you the guy is gone out into the elevator <laughs> i just i laughed i howled with laughter the black guys are the smartest people in this movie and so there you go other characters actors other than samuel jackson mary mccormick plays John Cusack's wife, Lily. They had an interesting backstory just as far as them being a little estranged. They're not divorced, but they're also not fully together either. Cusack is going through a rough time because you find out that their daughter died, and so he's been struggling with that very much. And a lot of why he doesn't believe that ghosts are real is because he, he wants proof that maybe his daughter is still out there somewhere or 
that she, that that he can interact with her, and he hasn't been able to. So that's a big driving force. So once again, I think writing wise and character wise, I was a lot more into that than necessarily the scares themselves, and you know the haunted nature of it. Maybe too, it's just it's stuff that I've seen a bunch of times. It's nothing really too new. Yeah, there was some moments and some images that I thought were creepy and disturbing, but nothing that that was like, oh my god, this movie really fucked my shit up. The ending, I'm I'm back and forth on. I watched the ending at first, and I thought, okay, this is typical. Yeah, all right, fine, we go this, down this direction. But then, the next day, I started to think about it as far as, well, if it had to happen, I guess it is the best way to handle the way how this movie ended, and it got a little more interesting in that way for me. So overall, that's why I said it, the movie's fine, it's enjoyable, it's watchable. I, I completely understand if, if you tell me that this is one of your scariest movies, if you do enjoy this movie on that level because I get it. I did find, you know, maybe it's the fact that it's based on the Stephen King short story, so the 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 characters were a lot more interesting in that ways. I usually do find Stephen King's characters more interesting than anything else. Sometimes they're more interesting than even the scares of the movies, which is funny. But yeah guys, let me know in the comments below if you too have seen 1408. Do you like it more than I do? Again, I think it's fine. But do you think it's like top level horror shit? Or do you agree with me that, hey, it's fine, it's cool. Do you not like the movie at all? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!